Well, good morning to all, and welcome. Welcome back to Father Jack's garden. It's a beautiful early morning here. You can see our flowers uh, along the side. There's in bloom, marigolds, nasturtiums, which of course are edible. Everything we like to grow in the garden, like to eat. Sort of a edible landscaping, you might say. And this morning I want to focus in on a particular veggie that we grow in our garden that's rather unusual. You don't really find growing in your garden very often. It's called bitter melon. Bitter melon is a, a um, vegetable that comes from China actually and we learned about this through a, a Chinese lady uh, who had stomach problems. And she'd gone to the doctor and tried everything and uh, was still in distress. And then she started eating bitter melon regularly every day. And lo and behold, her stomach difficulties all cleared up. Bitter melon is really wonderful for your digestion and um, has medicinal purposes. As the Chinese are very well adept at learning and knowing all the different herbs and vegetables to do just that. Um, and bitter melon is true to its name. It is very bitter. So when you eat it, be ready. Uh, Jenny actually likes to make a little bitter melon salad with tomatoes, um, cucumbers, onions, and bitter melon little vinegar kind of sauce and uh, boy make your mouth water but um, very very kind of addicting once you start eating it so bitter melon that's our topic for today bitter melon is a vine you can see I'm I'm showing you here the vine uh, I've got it planted down here at the bottom I put in I put in about two or three of them I grew these from my own seeds from last year and I'm going to go into a whole section on harvesting and processing seeds from your garden pretty soon. So I put a little trellis on the wall. There's a little wire fence actually on the wall for the get the bitter melon to start. And then I'm growing it right up the wall and right up into the tangerine tree. You can see it going on up into the tree there. The bitter melon grows right up into the trees. They actually will form almost like a canopy if you let them go long enough over the top of the trees. They vine up and grow vigorously. And then, as we're going up into the tangerine tree now, you can see hanging way up there. If I can get there, way up there. Ah, there are the bitter melons. See that one hanging up there? Sorry, I don't have a telephoto lens on this camera. I'm gonna to have to get my ladder to climb up there and get them. Tangerine tree makes a wonderful trellis for the bitter melons. So we grow them up there. You know, it just makes me think of the way that God puts structures in our lives for us to grow. You know, the church, our friends, his word, times of prayer, you know, just like um, things that we help us to support us as we grow as we stretch up this sky towards him now I'm gonna walk on over now to my second bitter melon tree <laughs> as designed I'm back to here into my entrance my second entrance here to the garden zooming in what I was watch your fit your footing when you're in your garden especially when you're trying to do a video you're not watching where you're going. Uh, just briefly, here's a, a bed that I just replanted. This is mid-July. And so I put in uh, some more tomatoes and beans and some chilies. I'm strategizing to have tomatoes in October. So here's my second bitter melon design, similar to the first. Right in there, you can see the bitter melon vines growing. And if you can kind of see, there's a 
old chunk of old fence that I've got in there. And I put to get them out from where they are growing out of the ground right there. They come out and they need something to grab onto, so you give them to the fence and they grow up the fence and up the fence and the fence gets them up to the juniper tree. There's my juniper berries. Uh, juniper tree is about 15, 18 feet tall and kind of bushy and branchy. And so it makes a wonderful trellis for the bitter melon to grab a hold to. See that? And the bitter melon has little runners like cucumbers, little um, uh, things that, what do you call those things? Little uh, fingers that come out and it wrap around, and grab a hold, and up goes the vine up into the tree as designed. And there, they're hiding in there. Can't quite see it very well. Uh, bitter melons. And if we go way up, up and up and up and up. There's a couple of bitter melons hiding out up there. So the one tricky thing about growing bitter melons in this fashion, as I mentioned earlier, you have a ladder to go pick them. Which is what I'm going to do this morning. And so I thought that I would just take a moment and show you and talk to you about this wonderful vegetable that we're growing in our garden. Rather unusual. You don't find it growing in your garden very often. That is the bitter melon. Bitter melons are kind of in their own category. They look like cucumbers. They're not really a melon. They're their own particular design. Designed by God to bring healing, especially for your stomach problems. So that's all from Father Jack's Garden this morning. God bless you, and we'll see you next time. Well, here's a little extra bonus shot for the bitter melon. Once I climbed up in the tree and picked them, this is what they actually look like. You can see they look kind of like a cucumber. And... Uh, little grooves in there. This is about the right size to pick them. They're, when they're green and the, the grooves begin to get a little wide in through there. Um, you know, this one right here maybe I picked a little bit too soon, a little bit green. Now, there's a nice little harvest of bitter melons there. Uh -huh. If you leave them on the tree and they get too ripe, then what happens is they begin to turn. First they start turning yellow down here at the tip and it spreads on up and they, they start to turn from being nice and firm like a cucumber into a real mush. And they turn yellow and then they turn orange and they, and they just get really soft and mushy. And then when you're harvesting the seeds from inside, you, you want to let them go until they get like that and they just fall apart in your hand. And then you take the seeds out and they're covered with this r bright red slime. Uh, it's really dramatic. So when you grow your bitter melons and you harvest your seeds, you can have a very colorful and messy experience. In the meantime, uh, pick your bitter melons when they look just like this and enjoy their wonderful medicinal purposes. Amen. <laughs>